Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be picking apart DPR Ian music videos to explain what I believe the story is. As a disclaimer, this is my opinion backed up with music videos, interviews, and short documentaries. There is no way I can be 100% correct with anything, but I am hoping to be at least 50%. I also want to mention that I am just doing this for fun. If you have seen my channel before, you may know that I love music videos that have connecting storylines, which is why I believe I am so attracted to this genre. Anyways, let's have some fun with these theories and I hope you enjoy the video. Starting at the beginning, the Dream Perfect Regime YouTube channel was created seven years ago with the first artist music video being from DPR Live. At the moment, there are only three artists who have music videos on this channel. DPR Live, DPR Cream, and DPR Ian. Cream and Live have their own stories behind their music videos that do end up bleeding into each other's, but to put it simply, their lore is still in development as of today, which is why I'm making this video on Ian, since there's a lot more to be said. Live and Cream's music videos have a lot to do with traveling through space and other galaxy. DPR Live does show up in Ian's music video, adding to the lore. DPR Ian's real name is Christian, so anytime I talk about him outside of the lore, I will be calling him Christian, so this doesn't get too confusing. The DPR Ian storyline, from my point of view, has four main characters at the moment. The Clown God, Ian, Scaredy Cat, and Maito. All of these characters were created by the Clown God, or otherwise known as Mr. Insanity. Ian is a person who is trying to deal with their emotions like everyone else, but it may be more than it seems. His depression, twisted perceptions, darkness, etc. has materialized into a supernatural being within him named Maito. Maito was once something great and powerful, but when something goes up, there will always be a downfall. Maito is able to overtake other characters' bodies other than the Cloud God. In these videos, there are a lot of angel visualizations that remind me of the story of the biblical Lucifer. Lucifer used to be the most beautiful angel of God. He fell into sin and jealousy, so he got casted out, causing him to become the ruler of the underworld. It also reminds me of the story of Icarus from Greek mythology, whose father created him wings, but flew too close to the sun, resulting in his death. This shows the consequence of excessive ambition. The third character is Scaredy Cat. Scaredy Cat is another personification of Ian's fear, anxiety, nerves, and stress. Scaredy Cat became this way because of Maito. Ian does not retain the memories of the other characters, but instead sees paintings like glimpses of memories that he should have. He may be revisiting the places that Maito has been to to try and understand why this is happening to him. Mirrors, pills, colors, and triggers. In these music videos, we see Ian's reaction to mirrors. In No Blueberries music video, it starts with Ian looking in the bathroom mirror, pointing a gun at it. Later, we see Ian on the opposite side of the booth he was sitting on while pointing the gun again. In the Scared of Cat music video, we see his character run away after being faced with a mirror. And at the beginning of his music videos, the name title is always mirrored. The imagery is to represent that when these characters look in the mirror, they aren't seeing themselves, but are more likely seeing Maito. As mentioned in the official Maito movie, they are created in the same image. They see the mirrored version of themselves. You created me in your image, and now it's time to create mine and yours. Pills. Pills come up a lot through these videos. From context, we can understand that originally, Ian believed that this was all in his head, so he takes pills to stop the voices. Come come in, come find out. It never works though, so in mood, Ian swallows a bunch of pills thinking that'll work better, and a trip ensues. Colors. In all DPR music videos, there's heavy emphasis on color. In DPR Ian music videos, the main color, specifically that I represented, is black and white, blue, and red. Black and white is Maito, blue and red is a trigger. Triggers. In No Blueberries, Ian takes the blueberries off his ice cream, causing a trigger into Maito's world, except Maito isn't there. It's Ian. The video is shot with blue tint from now on. Ian later triggers Maito to take control by lighting a fire. I believe certain colors like blue and red bring him into Maito's world, but things like fire and water can cause Maito to take control. Moving on to the music videos. The first music video that Ian released is so beautiful. 
We can hear him say, before, before I, change I change again, again remind, remind me of the time, time when I still, still remember. remember. I can feel, feel it coming. coming. As I mentioned earlier, Maito can take control of Ian, and he does not retain the same memories. Most of this music video is in black and white, and it is as if Ian is in a fight. He is fighting within himself for who gets control, and we see the real effects on the outside. He is often waking up in strange places looking confused as to how he got there. We also see him choking on water in the beginning, which I mentioned is one of Maito's triggers for control. Most of the time in this music video when we see him wake up in those strange places, a match is shown being striked right before. So this also goes back to how I mentioned that this was a trigger. By the end, Maito is in control, introducing him with one completely white eye. He picks up the gun, which leads us into No Blueberries. In the background, you can hear the music for No Blueberries start. No Blueberries starts with, what's wrong with me? Why do you keep doing this? Stop. Ian is in the Devil's Diner restaurant bathroom with a gun Maito took in So Beautiful. In the restaurant, we see someone with an astronaut helmet on. This is DPR Live. If you have seen the music video Kiss Me, you may have recognized this very fast. Also, DPR, REM, and Klein make a small cameo here. Live has a white flower with him as well. Upon doing some research, I found out that this flower is called a white gladius. According to PetalRepublic.com, this flower has a story of Greek mythology tied to it. They say, Demeter, the Greek goddess of harvest and agriculture, felt a deep affection for a sacred grove near Thessaly. One villager nearby who did not believe in gods took firewood from the holy forest despite being stopped by the worshippers of Circes. His name was Aristiden. One time, Aristiden cut off the man's head who tried to stop him from getting another firewood from the sacred grove. The sword-like plants called Gladius emerged from the blood. Furious of Aristiden's action, Circes punished the greedy man with famine. Aristiden sold his daughter when he had no other way to fulfill his appetite, but she escaped to the forest. Consequently, the Greek goddess turned the daughter into a gladius flower to keep card on the man that her father killed. You could say that DPR Live, wearing the astronaut helmet, is depicting someone who is headless. This would make him the worshipper of Circes, who tried to stop the selfish man from taking the firewood. The flower he is carrying is the selfish man's daughter. He may be following Ian around for many reasons. One, Maito is another being, supernatural being for him to look up to. Two, he wants to protect Ian from the selfish Maito. Or three, he knows the clown gods or Mr. Insanity's plan for Ian. Circes is the goddess of famine prevention. So it's ironic that this music video takes place in a restaurant. Who would have thought I would be creating another theory video based off of mythology? Earlier I mentioned how the color blue is a trigger. This is further enhanced by the lyrics of the song. Tell me what's in your eyes, baby. Red, green, all blue. Welcome to the other side. When Ian goes to Mido's world, or the other side, the tint of the music video turns blue. The monster that Ian sees is what Ian himself calls the blueberry monster. I'm running away from the blueberry monster. <laughs> I also love how the creature looks into Ian's eyes to see if one of them is white and determine if this is Maito or not. Terrified, Ian runs away and feels like there's not a way for him to escape. He triggers Maito to take control by lighting a match to fight off the blueberry monster. We can see the black feathers coming off of Maito. A floating pocket watch appears, seeming to bring Ian back. Pocket watches can symbolize many things, obviously the passage of time, but also memories. This brings me back to the quote from So Beautiful, before I change again, remind me of the time when I can still remember. A pocket watch is often a family heirloom. They can also represent the fear of change. DPR Live shows up to pick up Ian. Hanging from his rear view mirror is the same flower. I also just noticed a really quick detail here, but they made the license plate the same name as Live's album. He saves Ian and tries to run over the blueberry monster, which causes Ian to go back to his world, wondering if what just happened was real, as the ice cream still has blueberries, but now he has scars on his face. If things were not complicated enough, Here's where it's going to get a little bit more confusing. So far, I've been listing the music videos in order, but now I'm going to go out of order. The next music video I'm bringing up is Scaredy Cat, which came after Welcome to the Show and Nerves, 
but I'll come back to those. Scaredy Cat once again opens with a painting, another distant memory, and audio of news reports. Manhunt the manhunt continues. Police reports discovering the horrific body. Six years has passed Last by the devil's diner. The railroad track. Witnesses say the suspect may be missing an eye. The police are looking for someone with a missing eye who was last seen at the locations Ian's was at in the last two music videos. This song introduces the scaredy cat character, obviously, who is too afraid to even look at mirrors and hides away in closets. I also believe this set is more of a mind palace than a physical world. Maito is most likely the one who put him in the straitjacket and we see Ian tied up with tape over his mouth at the end as Maito walks into an elevator with clothes he has on for Welcome to the Show. The reason I think that this is not a physical world is this is probably how he is taking control with inside the body and so beautiful is what's happening on the outside. Welcome to the show. I feel like I've been here before. Everything feels familiar. I wonder if they're my memories or if it's his. I feel like I've been here before. Who are you? Maito. This is titled Maito's official premiere. This is his performance. This song is about the hardest lows in life and how we must accept this part of us. He must accept Maito for who he is. Doesn't mean he has to like him, but he just has to accept that this is something that he has to live with. Nerves doesn't tell us much storyline wise, but I do think it explains why the police are on the hunt for Maito. There is a scene where Maito is covered in blood. Maito killed the woman that Ian loved. The Nerves music video represents how his condition affects his ability to be in a relationship and be vulnerable with someone else. It is self-sabotage. If you are interested in knowing the story behind each song, I would suggest looking at Genius Lyrics because they have a section that shows the artist's explanation for the song. And I won't be going into that because this video is mainly focusing on the music video storyline, but it is very interesting to see Christian's take on these songs and why he created them. Christian has mentioned in interviews that this story is about the clown god or Mr. Insanity who created beings in the image of himself. There's a, there's a god that creates uh, this universe. And funny enough, this god is a clown. His first creation gets jealous of the others and turns into an archangel who was banished. This archangel wants to destroy every single one of God's creations. The characters are his creations and Every song has a different character. I didn't mention this earlier because it gets a bit more confusing saying it that way, but to me it makes more sense to say that Ian is representing those characters. So other than multiple creations, Ian is still the one that is experiencing all of this happening. He mentions that the god tries to confuse Maito by adding something, but does not specify what it is. One day, the, the clown gets a brilliant idea to throw something a little a little something into this story that confuses this Maito and pretty much he's trying to find a successor as well. Nine months ago they released the official Maito movie part one. Part two isn't out yet so this entire thing might change. We'll see. We hear and see the god talking about how all of his creations and Maito was the epitome of what was good but something went wrong. Out of all my creations but the epitome of all that is good don't most of my potential. You are my first. The god wants to destroy Maito. We hear Maito say, you created me in your image, and now it's time for me to create mine in yours. You created me in your image, and now it's time to create mine in yours. Maito wants to become a god. Remember how I mentioned Icarus? Well, it's about to come full circle. The first lyric in Seraph we hear is, we see a lot of fallen angel imagery leading into shots of the sun and this is Maito's story and his fall. Ian gets kidnapped and wakes up in a room. He finds a pocket watch in a drawer like from No Blueberries. He is starting to experience a panic attack, hearing an overwhelming amount of voices talking about him. Yeah. He takes a handful of pills, which leads to mood. He starts to have a very colorful trip and again mentions the color blue, saying, I Color in my moods. No he leaves the room he's in and sees an open door, which the viewer sees Maito is standing in. 
we also see a painting of a woman in red with one eye showing. I ended up finding the painting. It was created by a Ukrainian artist named Tarist Lobata. His paintings are known to have an emphasis on the eyes. Ian is stabbed when he turns around, showing red. As we know, Maito's color is black and white, but red is now being heavily introduced. Maito takes over control of the body and all the dancers have one eye showing. Ian took control again because of Mr. Insanity who brought him back, but not for Ian's sake. Christian said in a video at some point, the god steps in to stop Maito from destroying his creations. And I think this is to show how that is beginning to happen because all of a sudden Ian just snaps out of it but they're consistently pulling and tugging Ian to their sides. Ian runs down the hallways with hands grabbing at him. He opens the door and we don't get to see inside, but my best guess is this will be the next part and inside is Mr. Insanity. Christian mentioned during an Instagram live that this is the story of Ian going from the darkest points of life to the brightest starting with Maito transitioning into red for love, and the third part, which is to conquer the darkness. Ian went from darkness to love and will finally come to the light and become the hero of the story. He wants to do a reverse archangel story. So everyone knows when an angel descends from heaven, turns into an archangel, boom, goes down from heaven, transitions, and turns into the darkest, I don't know, sentient being ever. For me, I flip that. So for me, it's... it's an archangel transcending back into the light. A bit biblical, but I believe in the power of manifestation. So for me, I started with the darkest album, the black album, Mido, because that's where I was in that period of time. I'm transitioning the red album through love and fury, and eventually, hopefully, going into the light. I am trying to predict my own future. <laughs> DPR Ian uses his platform to show his struggle with his bipolar disorder and how he's learned to deal with his emotions. He shows an exaggerated supernatural being to represent his struggle and his highs and lows that I think many people can relate to seeing and how it kind of feels on the inside. So he wanted to share his experiences through the character of Maito and it's a personal story that he configured into a fantasy. As someone who suffers from anxiety disorders myself, the imagery he puts into his music videos, it's... Honestly, it's what it feels like to have a panic attack. It's very interesting for me to see something that I can feel being put into a visual experience. I am a traditional artist in the sense that I paint and draw and everything like that. I can really understand how and why Christian is putting all this energy into his art because... There's been times where I've been going through an anxiety attack and things that have brought me out of it is thinking about what I can do with my art. Like things like that calms me down a lot. I see that with Christian's music videos and how he's using all this energy to channel something beautiful. I read that Christian didn't want to release part two yet and... I mean, hopefully he's still working on it. He did just play at Coachella, which is super awesome, but I would really love to see the next part of where this is gonna go. I really suggest getting into DPR. You can really see how much work they put into their art. And the slight chance that anyone from DPR team is seeing this video, if y'all are hiring, like let a girl know. I'm just kidding. Unless. I'm guessing this is gonna be a super long video and it's gonna take me forever to edit but i really hope that you enjoyed my breakdown and i can't wait to see what else will come from dpr and hopefully i can make more videos about it so thank you so much for watching i'm gonna link a bunch of videos below so if you want to watch any interviews or live streams it'll all be down there so yeah thank you for watching